Hello, welcome. Welcome to LeetCode 1031, maximum sum of two non-overlapping subarrays. We are just giving an array nums. So for example, let me use example three. This, so this is the nums. And we, also, uh, we are also giving the first length, which is four, and the second length, which is three. We want to return the maximum of the first length with the second length. So the first length, the sum of the first length, for example here, 5, 6, 0, and 9, this is uh, the sum of the first length. And uh, 0, 3, 8, this is uh, the second length. And this is 11, and uh, this is 20. And uh, we want to return the maximum sum of the first length and the second length, which is uh, 31. So how to solve this problem? And uh, we know that the subarray is a continuous part of an array. So this means uh, we can use the prefix sum to solve the problem. So yeah, if we can use the prefix sum to calculate uh, the prefix sum of the nums, so this means, uh, yeah, we can enumerate uh, the second length. So for example, this is the first length, 2, 1, 5, and 6, and 0, 9, 5, this is the second length. If we can calculate the second length, which is 14, and then we're gonna enumerate the first length, we're gonna check which is the maximum of the first length. If the first length plus the second length is the maximum, so we're gonna return the result. So for example, while enumerated to 0, 3, and 8, this is the sum of the second length, which is 11. And what is the maximum sum of the first length, which is 4, and there's no overlapping. So it's going to be 6, 0, 9, and 5. So 6, 0, 9, and 5, which is the length of 4, and the sum of them is 20. So 20 plus 11, which is 31, which is the maximum. Now, let me try to code it up from here. Actually, this is just a two sum idea. So I'm going to use an S, which is the prefix sum. So I can use the list to accumulate the nums, and the initial uh, would be uh, 0. Now we can check what is uh, the prefix sum of the S, and uh, let me return a random number self.result. So the self.result uh, would be uh, starting from zero. Now let's check what is uh, the yeah prefix sum of uh, this example. Let's use example three. So this is uh, the example three two one five six, and this is uh, the prefix sum. As we can know, if we get to the prefix sum of all those numbers, this means uh, for example, this is uh, thirty nine, and this is uh, twenty eight. So thirty nine minus twenty eight, which is eleven. So this means uh, this is the sum of 0, 3, and 8. Now we're going to yeah, get the, se the second length, which is uh, 11. Now we're going to check what is the maximum of the first length. So we can use the, yeah, we, we can check the previous result. So for the previous result, the length is 4. It means uh, from 3 to 23. So the length is uh, 4. Yeah, because this is a 3 is included and 23 is not included. So 23 minus 3, which is 20. So this means uh, the first length, which is a 4, is uh, the maximum. So 20 plus uh, 11, which is a 30, uh, 31, is uh, the maximum result. Yeah. But how can we code it up? So the first length can be from the uh, left side, and the second length can from the right side. And there can can be another case. The first length may be at the right side, and the second length may be at the left side. So we're gonna use a function. Yeah. Now let me try to write a function. So the f with a and b. So this a means the first length, b means the second length, a means at the left side, b means at the right side. Yeah. So for this function, we can get the we're gonna update the self dot result. Now we just need to call the function, so the first length and uh, the second length. And another case may be uh, the second length at the left side, and the first length may be at the uh, right side. 
after call the function, we're gonna get the sub dot result. Now let's focus on how to write the function. Yeah, we're gonna use uh, this uh, result prefix sum from here. Now let's prepare a uh, uh, max sum of uh, a equal to zero. Now let's check what can be the maximum sum of the first of the first less. Yeah. So we're gonna use a loop. So for i in range a plus b with the length of the prefix sum. So this means uh, from the uh, 3 plus, for this example, 4 plus 3, which is 7, it means uh, the i will start, will start from uh, index 7, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, it's gonna start from this position. So from this position, we're gonna take, uh, yeah, we're gonna check the uh, first length, the maximum sum of the first length. So it's gonna be the yeah, let's update the first length. Maximum sum of a would equal to the max of uh, uh, max sum a uh, with uh, s i minus uh, the second length and minus s i minus the second length and minus the first length minus a. So this means uh, we're gonna already calculated uh, yeah from 2 mm, so this is uh, uh, 20 28 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 yeah from here so this this means uh, w yeah we can use uh, this is uh, from the 20 28 uh, the first length is uh, 4 so this means uh, the i uh, minus b, b is uh, 3, so i minus uh, 3, uh, 1, 2, 3 is from this position, and i minus uh, 7 is uh, from 0. So this means, uh, yeah, the maximum sum of a is 14. 14 minus is 0, which is uh, 14. It means uh, the maximum sum of a is uh, 14. So this means uh, 2 plus 1 plus 5 plus 6, which is 14. Yeah. Now we're gonna update the result. So self dot result would be the maximum of self dot result uh, with uh, yeah maximum sum of a plus s i minus the second part. Yeah, s i minus s i minus b. Yeah, because s i minus b is from this position, this is 28, minus b, b is 3, 1, 2, 3, yeah, it, it is uh, uh, at this position, so 28 minus 14, which is 14, 14 plus 14, which is 28, this is the first uh, yeah, possible result, and uh, the final result will be coming from here, which is 31, yeah. now let me just uh, run it to check if it works, as you can see, it works, yeah, now let me just uh, delete the print, and uh, submit it and uh, to check if it works yeah so the basic idea is uh, just to do some you're gonna enumerate the b uh, the second length for the second length you're gonna check what can be the maximum sum of the first length and then you're gonna get the final result yeah so the first length can be at the left side and the second length at the right side or the second length can be at the left side and the first length can be the at the right side. As you can see, it works. And the time complexity is ON because as you can see, this is just a for loop because we've already checked the prefix sum, which is the S array. Thank you for watching. See you next time.